Hey, this is Dave, and this is just a small supplementary video on three commands that might come in handy. Uh, they are which, where is, and locate. Now, these commands are used generally for figuring out if you've already got some binaries some software installed, uh, and potentially, if you do, where it is in your file system. And uh, the locate command searches, hey, it's got its own little database, it's a little index of stuff on your system. Um, so it can cast a really wide net, it can look through your whole file system fairly quickly and tell you where things are. Um, there's a couple details worth knowing. Okay, so the simplest binary here, the simplest tool is which. Which, it's like I'm Stewie. Uh, which searches simply for whether or not you have a command installed and if you do, where it is. So if we search for something that doesn't exist, we could do which, and some gobbledygook, it just comes back empty, it doesn't return anything. Um, if we search for, let's say, our shell, it says, oh yeah, you've got that shell installed, it's at bin bash. So the binary, the actually executable in Windows terms, uh, is living at bin bash. Good. Um, there's a command that goes into a little more detail, and that is where is. And I, I like this one, I generally use this one because uh, it's just searches a few more places than which it returns not only whether or not you have it installed and um, where, but it also returns if you've got the source on your system, so the actual source code for the command, so you can examine or modify it yourself. And it also returns where the man page lives, so the documentation for that command. So if we do where is bash, it says, oh yeah, bash, it's in bin bash, and by the way, uh, it's config file is here. I guess I don't have the source. That's interesting. And the man page is at user share man man one bash. I guess it only has a single man page and that's a man one. You know, I'm actually interested in I thought this would also return the source. Oh yeah, it does return the source. Okay, cool. Uh, and the third one is locate. Now locate is a much bigger deal. Uh, to go through. Locate has a database that's updated periodically uh, by the command update db. It's run as a scheduled job, this command, so it's got a reasonably up-to-date database. It doesn't actually search through your live file system. So if you've just installed some stuff and you're like, all right, is that did that install properly? Where are all the things for it? Locate probably won't find it because it needs to be re-indexed for it. So it needs that update db command to run before it gets an updated snapshot of all the stuff in your file system. So I use this one sparingly, I generally use find if I'm looking for something like that. But um, if we say locate bash, it'll just look through its database of the file system and you can see it just spits out everywhere where you've got something with a string bash in it on your file system. Now it's useful if you want to really see how how deeply an app has a uh, I guess impregnated itself into your file system, but you can see I mean, this is like exhaustive and if you know what you're looking for it's usually um, it's usually not that useful. Um, okay, so there you go, those are three quick commands for finding whether or not things are installed and where they are and where their files are. Um, the happy medium here you know, which is very simple, and locate is very sort of complex and verbose. But the happy medium, the one I find myself using most, is where is. Um, as always, I recommend you just read the man page to familiarize yourself. Good. I hope you enjoyed.